Fitness Studio again. Um, today I'm looking at a, a concept that I've been um, delving into here and there for the last year, year and a half, and it's the idea of speed sketching. Now this is something that um, contemporary artists do. They will set themselves a specific amount of time, say five minutes, and they will sketch an object, and then they might do a 15 minute sketch, or a half hour, and this just sets a limit to what they're actually aiming to achieve because obviously in five minutes you're not going to be able to do as much as you can in half an hour but that's not the point the point there is to hone your skills and actually uh, get to that point where you've got the essence of what you really want out of that piece of artwork and the same thing is true of music um, we can get very sucked into this idea that you will spend hours and hours and hours working on the minutiae of your uh, piece of music and you kind of lose track of what you were trying to achieve in the first place and setting limits can be a really good way to hone your skills and I'm not saying that you shouldn't spend hours and hours on a piece of music because I do it everybody does but getting back to that idea of setting some kind of limit uh, allows you to really just flow and be creative and not worry about the the finished piece and in fact some ideas may come out of that that you wouldn't even have thought of had you been sitting there checking that every single midi note was exactly on the beat or you know just getting sucked into the minutiae so here's my challenge to everybody if you spend five hours a week watching YouTube videos like this why not do five one-hour sketches a week and see how you get on so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to set that limit to myself I'm going to spend an hour I'm just going to see what happens and uh, you know just let the creativity flow and I think it's just good every now and again to step back and and think about why we do this anyway you know it, it music's meant to be enjoyable it's not meant to be mathematics so I'm going to crack on with that and if you get a chance to do any one hour sketches and you're happy to share them please do be really interesting to see what people come up with and um, yeah get out there make some music right hello and welcome um, where are we <laughs> are we down there okay um, yeah so I've set a timer up you'll probably be able to see that going off in the uh, bottom of the screen there and um, I'm just going to start rattling through now I probably will um, kind of expurgate this video I don't really think you need to sit through an hour so I might speed through certain sections but I'm going to record it in an hour and we'll see how we get on and obviously with uh, uh, you know an, a sketch you're not necessarily trying to get particularly an amazing structure you're just you're just using your equipment you're getting used to it you're getting used to your muscle memory and everything and that's precisely what's there for we, we're coming up to the countdown for one hour so I'm gonna now introduce you to what I've got on my screen um, so I, at the moment um, I'm I've loaded in a few of my go-to instruments uh, it's a real random mix I may not use them all I don't know um, I often start with a a lick of some sort um, you know whether it's a, a guitar phrase or a piano line or something like that I'm actually a big fan of bass guitar so um, I'm actually gonna start off with some bass guitar and see what what takes my fancy and I've got um, what have I got the tempo so let's, let's mark a left um, here so it's a 4-4 four, four time it's 110 so it's relatively slow I need to set my pre-roll which I've got set up on my um, little nano control here look at my video on nano control god that's saving me loads of time that is um, so let's have a go Actually, that's a bit uncomfortable let's transpose that that's better Let's just have a quick noodle around. Hmm. That's quite like that. Um, let's 
if I can bring it back. There we go. Shift star, by the way, that's one of my quick tips. Um, if you want to capture something that you've been mucking around with. I think I'd like to cut that up actually. Um, did it so I am gonna to have to uh, recall it with shift star oh well I don't normally do these things live so uh, right let's just uh, a minute let's undo that because I am ahead of the beat there we'll leave that as it is we will um, select that delete that now um, I could drag that across, but it's going to copy the whole thing. No. Uh, and then I need to hmm, just cut that. And we're just gluing these together. So it's in one. I'm going to have to uh, nip in there and uh, let's uh, zoom to full extent. Select all of these. We will just knock them back slightly so that that just that at first note. I want it in line there. And I'm going to have to uh, quickly paste that in over here. So let's have a listen to that in loop. I'll take the pre-roll off. I like that. Um, so now I should be able to split that there and not cut off that first note, which will be good. Um, we'll just uh, get rid of that. And if I'm on this, I've got a little uh, duplicate um, button here so I can knock that across. Uh, we've got a repeat of that then. Um, Okay, let's have a look at my acoustic guitar. Oh, I'm still transposed. Um, the acoustic guitar, by the way, is Ample Sounds Martin. Now, this is one of my favourite um, instruments. Um, so it's this Ample Guitar Taylor. It's just a beautiful sound. And actually, you know, for the the sketch I won't be doing that much in the way of um, keynotes you know um, expression and mapping and stuff like that but uh, so we get on let's just play this along to the drums first and getting that rhythm going. Some nice 
little ghosty snares in there. This is a free drum kit from Spitfire, by the way, if you guys haven't got it. Um, the Spitfire drums, download it for free, Spitfire Labs. Can't beat it really for, for no pennies, whatever. Um, Rhythm right. What have I got here? the ride oh that's side of that um, okay well, I'm going to uh, select that so duplicate that out and go I say I'm not really that worried about whether it's accurate or not all we're trying to do is just have a bit of a muck around really let's have a what we got here why is that not working oh because I'm completely transposed into the wrong part of the keyboard now Oh, that is such a beautiful sound, isn't it? Um, right, okay then, let's uh, get that left. Um. sounds like A 
are some interesting key switches if I can find them. I'm ready for Duduk at the moment. <laughs> it's probably a bit step too far. Um, as I say, I just uh, um, put a load of different instruments in. Oh, yeah, I'd put Easter Island in here. I, I don't know if anybody uses that still. Um, it's part of the original Spitfire um, Albion set, and it's just a thumping great bang. And um, that can be quite interesting in places, but. Uh, but yeah, I just put that in because I really like it. Um, we might use that later on. Still think I should be doing some guitar or maybe what's the what have I got set up in um, Sable? So we look at the instrument. Oh, that's just staccato. Ask the instrument out the way there, and I'll just play along with it again. Let's take the pre roll off. better than the second actually so um, let's just uh, split that there and then we'll um, highlight that and duplicate this is all hideously out of time <laughs> I'm not going to release this anytime soon but it's uh, again as I say it's just a an exercise in noodling around and getting used to your, your equipment really getting used to your gear um i mean i don't know how many of you uh of this sort of thing where you know you just your hands just don't go to the right place maybe you've been uh, out of the studio for a couple of weeks and you're thinking what the heck is the uh, undo button so um yeah it's just an exercise in that really um okay then i mean i'm not a great big fan of quantize actually um because I, I often find that it just makes more problems than it solves um, but some people are a lot better at it than I am um, I think well just let's have a look um, so I've got this guitar and it's quite a nice little instrument again this is another one of um, the ones from Eduardo Taralonte um, in the era 2 and it's a sort of mandolini type thing It's also got um, some little trills. Easier to program in afterwards, actually, um, and you can do some. I 
That might work, actually. I know it's a weird mix of instruments, but that doesn't actually matter because that's not the point of the uh, exercise. Um, so let's turn that one off. I'll go back to the left marker and... Uh, <laughs> that sounds a bit crap. So, where's my key switch? Lost it. Ah! <laughs> where's the key switch? Well, I just can play it and just uh, get a feel for it, really. the joys of working with a live situation. Um, not really sure why my hotkeys are not working there. So let's just... That'll do. Sorry about that. That was a bit weird. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that again. Go back to the left marker. going on but I didn't hit record soon enough because I wasn't actually on the right track so just make sure my pre-roll is on and oh, we're good to go duplicate that um, because I think that's fine as it is is it on the beat not quite that'll work um, I'm gonna go into this actually I shouldn't duplicate that just yet let's delete that let's just see what we've got here now I've got expression maps programmed in so I can actually go to my articulations dynamics here let's just uh, roll this up a bit so normally I'm going to be on polyphonic so I will write that in right at the start so that's the default it's just playing notes da, 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 da. that would be nice as a trill so that little green line there shows me that um, that's where the next note will come. So we'll we'll write in trill there. Oh no, that's uh, that's applied it to the wrong note. So I'll do that. It'll be that one there. So that's a trill. Du, 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 du. And that E four would be nice as a trill. So we need to put that back to polyphonic at that point. Trill here. You can see it's actually allocated it to the note. That's the way I've programmed my expression maps. So we go back to 
polyphonic here da, 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 da. and probably a trill on that one Back to polyphonic and then a trill to finish it off right let's see what that sounds like could be ghastly fine so I'll duplicate that um, they, uh, well I mean what you'll notice is we're halfway through there's no real progression here because it is just um, it's just me you know, noodling around really I suppose what we do is try to get it to a stage where we could have a, a second section um, I did start off on the bass didn't I let's just um, Oh, where, where's my bass guitar gone? <laughs> there it is. Transpose down again. I really don't like that jump there. Um, what's happened is obviously I had to tighten it up to hit the beginning of the bar but that doesn't really work very nicely so I'm going to glue these two parts together let's just open uh, oh sorry I'm on the wrong track there um, select that and let's have a little look um, so where is that weird note scroll it back a bit take it off pre-roll that's the one that's not early enough let's just bring it back a little bit that's a really jarring jump there it's also on the drums you can hear it can't you my a crap a drum playing um, so let's also glue oh I'm not used to these new um, icons yet <laughs> Cubase I, I kind of like them I think the Cubase 10 icons are quite nice but uh, it does take a little bit getting used to when you've been using 9 and before for such a long time um so where is that jump it's probably that one that one there looks way way behind so let's just see what that sounds like <laughs> God, that's awful. <laughs> These in front of the beat, aren't they? It should be. I think I just slowed down there randomly. Um, whoops. I shouldn't really be spending this amount of time on this. It's a sketch. should probably just quantize the whole lot and be done with it but um, anyway let's, let's forget about that let's just accept there's a lot of ropey playing in here and just get on with it <laughs> um, okay so we've got that section there and I'd quite I would quite like some acoustic guitar in there um, so let's let's just see what what I can come up with 
let's transpose that into somewhere where I can actually hit the keyboard and play it properly. Bring up the um, instruments just so you can see what's going. It won't let you play um, notes that you wouldn't, strictly speaking, be able to play on the guitar. So you you really have to restrict yourself, and not play like a keyboardist. You can actually set it to um, keyboard mode. It sounds totally wrong. Um, that means you can just play as many notes as you like, which you'd never be able to do on a guitar. So I don't usually set it like that. I keep it on normal guitar mode. I'm just going to loop this around and just have a little listen and see what's going on and, um, and noodle about a bit. <laughs> Everything's a bit loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm going a bit berserk there with the loudness. Um, let's just bring some of this down a bit because it's getting a bit nightmarish there. So I've got my drum and bass groups, so we'll bring those down. Um, acoustic guitar will have probably has the guitar on it as well. Yeah, that's into that acoustic guitar group, so that's fine. Um, strings, let's um, flip across a few tracks here. Strings, bring that down slightly. Let's just see what we get there. Okay. Now we'll go back to the Taylor guitar. licking my hand. Thank you. Ah oh, well, let's give it a little bit of a go then. And we want a pre-roll on. Again, no, 
not really feeling that. It's a hammer off, isn't it? Does do quite a bit of that automatically, which is quite nice. But you can program in again with expression maps or key switches um, some really nice harmonics and bits and pieces with that instrument. Okay, let's go with that. All right, once more onto the breach. what I wanted but I really I'm down to the last quarter of an hour so um, let me read it up fast um, yeah I'll do that and the guitar just pan those slightly I've got my mixer up you'll see what's happening there Sounds quite nice with those three. Ah, that, that actually, that could work. Um, so, that would mean, I mean, cutting off in there. I've got this set to beat. That's not great. Let's use quantize. Stick that on. I know one sixteenth. I can cut in then, probably in there. Um, why have I got these markers over here? Now I'm doing something stupid, really. Oh no, I don't need those markers at all. I don't know why I've got them in there. Um, let's delete that and delete that one, zoom to full extent, that's better. Okay, um, I've got a zoom button on my um, QCon as well, so I can cut in. Let's just zip back a bit, have a listen. Right, I've got so many solos across this desk at the moment, and if you can... Um, let's just press F7, get rid of all those solos. Zoom to full extent. So that's where I want to cut in. Okay, let's just zip in here. Yeah. Okay. So let's 
cut there, then what I can do is I can um, mute that section. Might be nice to cut slightly earlier on there. We will glue. Oh, well, that's not that actually might be a separate. Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah, that's good. Um, then we'll mute that. And this one, I think, will fade in. So there is a way to fade in straight off, off Cubase, isn't there? I'm going to have to look at that and uh, remember how you do that. But for now, I think what I'll do is I'll just put a um, curve in here. Oh, main volume and I think it's just up to there so let's draw in a line gonna, ah. <laughs> let's get rid of that and that would be where we normally have it all the way across there we do that theoretically that will fade in <laughs> I actually have done that way too late hmm okay um Alright, let's unmute mute that. Um I'll glue those together again. That is right, isn't it? It's that bar there, so that's when the base comes in. So what I really want to be doing is one, two, three, four. I thought I had that right actually. Let's have a look. And then bar nine. Mute that. Let's have a look at these. Ah, okay, yeah, and I see what I've done. So basically, I need the line from here up to there and then across. And then what we'll do, because that was incredibly loud, um, is that if I can just can I select everything and just bring it down a bit in fact let's move vertically let's scale vertically and see what happens there probably could actually have that coming up a bit shallower so more like that. Let's give that a go. So scroll that back and have a listen. Um, right, okay, so that's fine for the drums and the bass coming in halfway through. Du, 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 du. Let's put one of these in. I, I just want to get this in, okay? Humour me. Oh dear. I just love that sound. That's great. Okay, so we just uh, let's just see if I can. Don't know if you can actually hear that anyway, or uh, whether it'd just be a complete contrivance. But who cares? It's my bit of music. It's my sketch. Leave me alone. Or could we be, could we be really cheeky? Yeah, let's be cheeky. Um, okay then, so volume is probably pretty much up where it's going to be anyway. Uh, velocity is high. 
So what we'll do. OK, let's leave that as it is. Uh, what I'll do is I render in place um, on that. That gives me my sound file. I can, that that will automatically mute that now. Um, and then we can um, take that sound file. Um, add a process which will be reverse. Okay, and then we can just move that to that point where the bass comes in. Now let's solo up Easter Island drums, bass. Let's see what that sounds like. Run that. Oh, it's just taking its time. <laughs> I'm running too many bits of software. <laughs> Muted. Don't know why. Run that again. Let's see. And if we then unmute the main hit, uh, let's see what happens there. Okay, happy with that. <laughs> oh, that's very silly, isn't it? Oh, look, I'm on, I'm on about three minutes. This is where they get tetchy on MasterChef, isn't it? Um, let's go back to the, the beginning, just have a listen to what we've got at the moment. Um, pretty rough, isn't it? Where's the ensembles? Yes, in fact, um, that would make sense to mute those as well. And then go back. Um, let's bring up the mixer, see what's happening. It's nice. Pleasant, isn't it? <laughs> um... I mean, I've got to say that the uh, the playing <laughs> it's pretty awful. Um, sorry about that, guys. We're into the last couple of minutes anyway, um, and and that's what that's what's happening at the moment. I think we'll finish there. Um, okay, so so yeah, it's a little bit on the uh, the sort of badly played side I haven't bothered to quantize anything or correct really correct my errors but the the whole process is really just to get you into the idea of you know can you just sit down at your equipment and just noodle around experiment doesn't matter what the instruments are what the music sounds like whether you even like the music at the end you may actually hate the music that you come up with at the end but what it's doing is it's getting you used to hitting the right switches learning your, your muscle memory and your craft and uh, and just actually quite pleasant to come up with a, a little piece of music that okay you may not ever listen to it again um, but it's you know that's what it's all about is, is just that sort of creating and who knows something that you've come up with there might actually make it into a completed piece of music in the end so um, we'll go back we're on the last minute so we'll just go back and see what detritus I've managed to come up with. And um, thank you for watching again. If you're interested in like and subscribe, then obviously feel free to do so. Um, but don't worry if not. I, I'm more than happy for people just to pop in and watch a video here and there. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing these videos full time or anything. So anyway, let's get back to the piece of music. We'll have a look at the, um, the actual uh, screen now. And... Um, in fact we'll just we'll just bring up the mixer and run it back and uh see you on the next one